This time on Where is the Archon, we found ourselves trying to get to the jade chamber that is very high. Like that kind of high. After doing some Sherlock Holmes thing, we found that this thing is a contraption. Wow. Very cool, Li Wei. Very cool. Oh wait. It only got us so far up. Here's a clip of Paimon ripping off an idea from Titanfall. Absolutely disappointing. We decided to take a walk and bump into Keqing who gave us a code and location of the entrance. That sounds like a plot for Kids Next Door. Moving on, we arrive at the place that the fake cat girl said and let's just say... The man was very confused as to why there's the talking floating food and that the food is saying a strange phrase. Huh? Isn't it morning? Moon can be eaten aboard by some magical means. We teleported to the jade chamber and met the Archon, which is Ningguan, the Who else could it be? Apparently she is a woman of culture, cultivating NSA levels of surveillance. She knows everyone from Monster to Li Wei, including Jin and the Yin. But of course, she mentions that the surveillance is in detail. Thank goodness, because she could have seen my daddy Zhongli body pit. <clears throat> Yes. After talking to Ningguan, we went to do some humming and next thing we know, Chao wants to fight us for the sake of fighting. Not because of some convoluted plot done by the Ice Lady herself. However, our dear Yuki somehow managed to move the screen somewhere and we have this. Oh dear Shrek, I want you to put your big green- I mean, the Chao with an e-fight is possibly the easiest fight ever. Easier than Dvalin, that's for sure. It felt more like a tutorial than a boss fight. Because of that, Chao felt humiliated and decided to summon sieges like some Naruto Jutsu BS. Due to the Kage Thousand Year Bankai Siege, snakes came out of nowhere. If only there was a way to get rid of some of the snakes I know. Suddenly, the snakes were high. Shell, the Jewel Archon, and the Adapters were here. Somehow their Protoss technology and the Jade Chamber becomes the mothership slash battle cruiser abomination. Call me bias, but this is one of the best cutscenes showcasing the Genshin StarCraft collaboration here. But of course, the Fatui came in to interfere. Thanks to some plot armor, we defended the chamber and got to see the Yamato cannon. Well, sad it was. But then, the snakes fought back with the Slytherins. It destroyed artilleries, the weapons, and the platform as people tried to retreat. Oh no! The Traveler is falling! Who is going to save her so that Genshin continues? Xiao! Xiao got her! Let's go! Oh yeah. Ningguan decided to commit mass kamikaze by dropping the chamber onto the snake. Snake, maybe unalive, maybe not. And happy ending. Oh, is it?